I got a request from one of our members about utilizing uh, mind maps in Scrivener and bringing mind maps into Scrivener. This is not something that I'd ever done before, um, but I'm so glad they asked the question because I'm a bit like a bulldog. Once I, uh, once someone has asked me something, I find it very difficult to let go until I find a solution. And uh, I'm so glad I did because I went away, I bought myself some mind mapping software so I could test this out for myself. Um, and it is definitely something that is going to increase my productivity incredibly. So thank you very much for asking that question because it's provoked me to discover something brand new for myself. And um, the important thing is with the mind mapping software that you um, utilize that you're able to um, export something called an OPM L file. Okay, so um, many of the different types of uh, mind mapping software will be able to export your mind map as something called a .opml. So I've got here um, a uh, uh, an outline. Okay, so I brainstormed something and pulled together a mind map for a series of emails that I want to write called Getting Started with Scrivener. I then pulled that mind map or exported that mind map as a .opml file. Um, if you look around when you, if you're looking at uh, particular mind mapping software, uh, you'll be able to find out whether it exports in this um, format or not. Okay, and then I just come over into Scrivener. Okay, I'm going to open a blank document. So, and I'm going to call this my mind map example. And I'm just going to again save that to the desktop just for the sake of this. Um, and then what I want to do, okay, I'm going to go File, Import, OPML. Or mind map file. Okay, now there may be some different ways in which um, Scrivener can bring things in, but I'm just going to uh, work with this OPML because I know that it works. Okay, and I'm going to browse for my OPML file. And there I've got my get started with Scrivener.opml. Okay, I'm going to open that. Okay. I want to create it as titles only, okay, and go OK. And now what has happened, it's pulled in all of those files, okay, so it's created a folder. It's got the top level um, idea from my mind map, get started with Scrivener, and then it's got all of the breakdown of my OPML file, my bra my mind map, okay, here as individual documents that I can then begin working on in Scrivener. So that's uh, just a, a little tip if you wanted to very rapidly deploy an outline for your novel, for your book, for your um, non-fiction book or your email series or whatever it may be, um, you can actually create it in um, a mind mapping program, a mind mapping software, and import it directly into Scrivener as a .opml file and have Scrivener create all of those documents for you straight away. What a time saver that is. So yep, that's bringing mind maps into Scrivener.